If you don't know me, I'm Jamie Does Life, and I let a computer choose the destination of my next trip. That destination? Sofia, Bulgaria. Over 3,600 kilometers away by land, we're going there without flying. The second episode saw us frustratingly stuck at Dover port for over eight hours. We then traveled into mainland Europe by the early hours of the next morning. So join me as I pick this back up from Brussels, Belgium. Enjoy. Good morning from Brussels North Station. It is 4.38 a.m. I've just been dropped off by the Fleeks bus from Ghent. Now then, I've got an hour and a half before my next bus and it's fucking freezing. Like that when things open in the station. I'm absolutely bursting for a wee and the toilets are shut. I'm not gonna lie, it's quite spooky being here. It's completely dead. Obviously the trains aren't going, it's only half four in the morning. But I've looked on the board, there's a train going in half an hour so people should start to appear, hopefully. There's a McDonald's here but it's closed obviously. So yeah, it's just a boring an hour and a half wait for my bus now. The next leg of the journey was supposed to start from Aachen in Germany but because of the disruption I've had so far I have missed a couple of connections to get to Aachen and I was due to spend a night there now but obviously I've missed that so I'm now getting a bus from Brussels to Aachen to Salzburg I'm still in the station but one thing I hate is just hanging around I only had an hour and a half to hang around and it's just going so slow but I went for a little walk around Brussels North the station and I went outside one of the other exits and it was really busy I was like, it's weird, it's like 5am there's really these big bright lights in the windows I was like, it's really weird and then I looked and there's all these big like, high chairs in the window and I put two and two together and if you've ever been to Amsterdam you know what I'm on about there's obviously a district here in Brussels North and there's a load of people outside but yeah, I just can't wait to get on this bus. I knew this hair torch would come in handy. I've just had to wash my hair underneath a dark alleyway and clean my teeth because obviously if I showered last yesterday morning, I'd be on the bus since. But yeah, this little handy head torch came in use. I've been using these um, shampoo leaves. So you put, put them on your head and it lathers into like um, shampoo and it's just bits of paper like that, it's really handy. Saves you taking liquids, but now I feel much better now. Brushed teeth, deodorant and washed hair, ready for my 18 hours journey. What I haven't got though is any food. And I've checked the stops. Each stop is like five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes. When we get to Frankfurt and it's 15 minutes stop, that's in like 10 hours. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for food. I've eaten all my butties already. So yeah, I don't, know if you, I don't even know if you can see me. Hopefully you can. And here we are, the double decker service from Brussels North, deep into Croatia, but we're stopping at Salzburg. Good morning from Cologne Airport. Now you're probably thinking, what am I doing here? Well, you'll be pleased to know it is a 10 minute stop. Behind me is my bus to Salzburg. I've managed to have three, four hours sleep off and on on this bus. I um, feel very groggy at the moment. Um, but yeah, I've still got another 12 hours to go till Salzburg. But yeah, nice bus, really spacious. Um, USB ports underneath. I don't know whether someone will be sitting next to me now because it looks like there's quite a lot of people coming on. 
It's cold though. But yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do for food. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit hungry. <laughs> I don't know, I'm shivering. There's a nice big plane over there. Right, anyway, better get back on just in case I miss it. But I thought I'd give you an update. Here we are in Cologne. This is Frankfurt. 10 minutes stop in Frankfurt. I'm starving, so there's a baker over here. I'm just gonna go grab some lunch. Um, hopefully my bag is safe on the bus. My laptop is suffering it, so fingers crossed. But yeah, this is Frankfurt. Quick 10 minute stop. This is all you're gonna get to see, I'm afraid. So I've just had a pizza slice. Now to get back on the bus. Hello from a wet and miserable Munich. We are on the final stop of our 18 hour journey. I think it's 18, I've forgotten now. Our final, uh, we're on the final stop of our 18 hour journey from Brussels to Salzburg. We've got 30 minutes here in Munich before we go for another two hours. Um, a lot of people getting off, a lot of people getting on. So I'm gonna go and find somewhere to get um, a drink. I've got food already stretch my legs a bit and then um, see if we can see anything in the account around the bus station probably not but we'll see if we can this is the busiest station i think we've been in so far there's buses all the way down there all the way up here a lot of flix bus obviously flix bus is a german company and over the past few years they've grown exponentially and they are huge at the moment but get somewhere for a drink, I think. But yeah, look, Sindbad. Sindbad operate buses from the UK non-stop to Poland, like 40, 50, 60 hours. You know what I say to that? Fuck that. 18 hours is enough. Imagine doing 40 hours on a coach. I was saying that. I have been non-stop for about 34 hours at the moment. It's gonna be nightmare. So above the stations is a shopping centre, places to eat, kind of kebab, McDonald's, shops, ticket centre. Lidl. So I just picked up some apple squash juicy thing and some water. Four euros here in Munich. Obviously it's very miserable here. Good evening from Austria, our fifth country of this trip so far. France, Belgium, the Netherlands, Germany, Austria, fifth country, yes. It is awfully wet here. It's half past nine at night, and now I now have four and a half hours to wait for my next bus, which is going from the bus stop over there, which is Salzburg, South Salzburg. However, all of the cool things to see in Salzburg and in the main area of Salzburg, which is about three miles north. So there's nothing here to see in South Salzburg. So I'm heading over now to the train station, try and get a tram or a train into the center, try and waste four hours. Otherwise I'm just gonna get soaked standing on the side of the road. 
yeah and hopefully i can get back by one o'clock to get my next bus fingers crossed hopefully now we will also be able to see some something other than you watching me on a bus or stopping over for a quick chat so yes join me as we traipse our way through a soaking wet Salzburg now you probably can't see anything but behind me is a river an Austrian river so you just picture crystal clear blue water flowing beneath us I know it's pitch black so you'll just have to imagine it I'm afraid And you can see how much rain's coming in from them puddles. So this is Salzburg Sud. Um, I've bought a ticket for two euros twenty. It's like the Salzburg zone. Um, and the next train is in a few minutes, so I'm walking underneath to cross the tracks. But yeah, I don't, don't know what to expect. It's a Sunday night, it's raining, it's dark. What, what am I going to be able to show you? Who knows? Here we go, Salzburg HPF. What is there to see in Salzburg at night when it's raining? Let's find out. So there was a spa there, just been in. Bought um, a sandwich, a croissant and some chocolate. Because one thing I've noticed is if you don't stock up on food and supplies, unless you are quick on your stops, you're screwed basically. So here I am now in Salzburg centre. Oh no shit, this is HBF. The centre's a, a kilometre away, so I, I need to make a decision whether I need to go to the centre or not, but or just hang around here. Five euros for a cheeseburger meal. This is just a room full of vending machines called the e-kiosk. How fucking cool is that? I am amazed. Just vending machines. E-kiosk, 24 hours. Smart. Anyway, the old town is around two kilometers away from the main station. We're on the way there now. Yeah, guess. see what happens when we get there, I guess. I don't know what it's going to be like. It's going to be dark, rainy, cold, everyone's going to be shut. Buildings might be lit up though, so it might be looking nice, we'll see. So those that you don't know, Salzburg is part of Austria, Western Austria, and it borders Germany. Um, the Alps, Aust Austrian Alps are just to the south of Austria. And when I booked the, um, booked the bus today, I thought, bloody hell, I'm going to have a lovely 12 hours drive through Germany, have a look at the Austrian Alps and that. When we get down to near Austria, I didn't see a thing. All I saw was green fields and then it got dark. And there we have it, the first church of this trip, eagerly awaited, sitting on the hills overlooking this river. This is the Danube River. Now behind me on the hill is the old Salzburg Fort, which is one of the top things to do here in Salzburg. And dotted on along the river, all these old churches and buildings look really nice lit up. The bear looks lovely during the day. But yeah, we won't be able to see any of them really. I'm going to cross over this bridge in a minute, get across the river and see if we can see any of the churches up close. But yeah, that I think that might be it, you know, just have a wander around. Maybe go and sit, have a coffee somewhere in the warmth and then head back down to Salzburg Sud station to catch our bus to Slovenia a new country for me, Slovenia we arrive at 5am this is Mozart's museum 
Mozart spent a lot of time here. I think he was born in Croatia, but basically lived here. So he's got a close place in Austrian hearts. I think his house is here. There's a museum of his here. But do you know he died at 35 and started composing music at five years old? Died at 35, how mad's that? 30 years. Maybe there's another church broken out. This is some sort of large square, loads of restaurants with tables outside. You know, I can imagine this being a really nice place to come to in the daytime <laughs> when it's not raining. But maybe it's one of them places I have to come back. I have been to Austria before uh, when I went to watch Wales play in Hungary. We ended up extending our stay and went to Bratislava. And from Bratislava you can get a train to Vienna. So we arrived, we were having a full day there. We thought we'll get a uh, open top bus, sightseeing bus. But little did we know that Pride Festival was on on that day and they'd closed off half the roads in the city. So when we paid for the bus tour, they didn't let us know. So we managed to go on, I think there was two routes, like a red route and a blue route, and they go around different parts of the city. So we managed to do, I think it was the red route first. We tried to switch bus and there's, oh, sorry, you can't go on the blue route because all the roads are shut. And I think, in, obviously, Austria is quite an expensive country. It was about 35 euro a ticket or 40 euro a ticket, and we just lost out. And then, because we couldn't do anything, we just called it a day and went home. So I've only been to Vienna for a day. Would you, would you class that as coming to Austria? I don't know. I've done, Viet um, I've done Salzburg now for three hours, so maybe it does count. So there was quite a few lit up churches when we were walking along the river and I've come off the river to try and find them and I cannot find them for the life of me. Well, I can find them, but when I, was, when I saw them earlier, they're all lit up. So obviously there's a church here, but it's not lit up. So I wonder if they put the lights off at a certain time, maybe 11, because it's now four minutes past 11. Just my luck, that would be. Yeah, see, I don't know. I'm gonna have to work out where to go now. Also, maps.me is a brilliant app. Yeah, I'm going to head a bit further on this way. This is, in the dark, Salzburg Cathedral. Now, I wonder if my night mode... There you go. Salzburg Cathedral. This is the back of the cathedral, and I just realised you can't see absolutely anything on here. So, if bear with me a second. That is the cathedral there. And this is some sort of art gallery. I cannot believe how different it looks, you know, through the camera. Mad. Anyway, I think that's it, you know, for Salzburg. It's 10 past 11. I've got two hours before my train. Well, two hours before my bus even, we've had a look at the cathedral, had a look at the squares, had a look at Mozart's museum. Oh, it's cold now, man. Hmm, this looks nice. It's to my annoyance, the lights must have gone off at 11. So <laughs> everything was like poking out of the, the trees all up and it's all off now. Annoyingly, just as I get there, because it was four minutes past 11 when I clocked, nothing's lit up anymore. But yeah, here's the, the new river again. We're heading back to HPV, which is the central station here in Salzburg, and we're going back down to Salzburg Schutt to catch our bus. I'll tell you one thing I'm looking forward to. In my next destination, which we'll arrive to at 5 a.m. tomorrow, I have a hostel booked for that night. So I do plan on staying there for two days and then leaving the day after at night time, overnight bus. So just to be able to <laughs> have a proper bed, and I know how horrible this sounds, but just a shower, you know? I've had the, obviously the wash at the side of the road. 
this morning, but I'll be wash, brush, brushing my teeth as I go. But other than that, bloody hell, pretty grim to be honest. <laughs>